Sri Lanka is facing the worst situation ever. The people of Sri Lanka are in agitating mode with the troubles mounted on them with the failure of the government in dealing with the economic crisis arising with the post-COVID effect. Presently, emergency is implemented across the country which was imposed by the President Rajapakse. The entire cabinet resigned giving the way to form a new cabinet to console the anger among the people. Three days back, the agitators tried to enter the president's building, which led to the emergency. Actually, the anger of the people is very genuine as they are not able to get even daily food. All the food materials have become very costly along with the petrol diesel prices. Daily life has also been affected by the economic crisis, which is why the people have staged protests on the roads. The protests were controlled after imposing a curfew for two days. Sri Lanka, the best example for the wrong economic practices. The country has depended on foreign currency only and the major income was through tourism. The tourism income was damaged because of the COVID situation in the last two years which led to the lack of foreign currency reserves at the government. Because of that, they are unable to import any products including petrol and diesel. Even the government is unable to pay back the loan or interest on that loan which amounts to $51 billion as of now. To combat the situation, the government is trying to get a fresh loan from the International Monetary Fund and the negotiations are on. However, experts are suggesting the Sri Lankan government to develop its own resources to run the country rather than depending on tourism only. They can develop the tea plantations and can export tea and coffee to other countries which is now going on very low profile. As the country has lost so much in the past because of the racial clashes between Tamilians and uh, Simhalians, the country has to focus in a very concentrated manner the experts have suggested. 